Hello everyone, welcome back to Technovo. My name's Steph and today I'm running through a quick tutorial on how you can stream with your friends on one stream and by that I mean have a multi webcam setup so you can all appear on one stream on one feed. Uh, I wanted to run through this tutorial because I haven't seen many people do this before on uh, YouTube. There are multicam stream tutorials that you can use which require you to plug in multiple cameras to your computer through a capture card or USB webcam style that kind of thing but I just want to show you how you can do that with your friends so when you're playing party games on your stream like I don't know Gang Beast for example then uh, where all your characters are on screen at one point uh, at one time then you can also have all of your faces on there as well and plus because of this COVID-19 business is going on we're all in lockdown anyway so people are probably playing a lot more video games than, uh, than they generally would. So you can play with your friends, you can stream with your friends, and uh, hopefully you can get through this through this time with, with uh, some party gameplay. So let me uh, jump straight into the tutorial and we'll start cracking on. Okay, so welcome to the Tecnuovo OBS. We are using OBS Studio at the moment. We were gonna be using Streamlabs, but uh, we I'm used to OBS, so this is the reason I use OBS. Now, as you can see on the left-hand side, I have got a number of scenes that are set up for me already, including one for the three split camera, but I'm not gonna show you that. We're gonna start from scratch. So, what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna call this uh, test split camera, and I'm gonna set up a new scene by clicking this plus button in underneath the scenes box. And so you're going to be greeted with something that looks like this. Now, at this point, you are going to want some kind of overlay. Now, I've already built one for the Technuovo uh, stream. So if I go to image import um, and let's call this uh, image split test. And then you can browse on your hard drive where the where your images are saved so at the moment i've got a twitch and mixer folder with all of our stuff in here uh, and there is my three-man stream background which looks very much like this so the big box is where the um where the game is going to play and then you've got three different boxes for our cameras now what you're going to need to do to split up the cameras so your friends are in or whoever you are your colleagues are in these boxes here is you're going to need some kind of video calling software now we use discord and there is a way of um there is a way of getting webcam usage on discord so if i click on here now you can see i'm actually talking i'm waving to the camera right now just to prove that i'm live just checking my monitors to see if i am actually recording and i'm live but as you can see Here's Joe and here's Nick as well. So, it I can't stress enough. This is the this is an important step to this process. Is you need to make sure that this window stays at the size that you actually set it to. So at the moment I've got it set to this window, and I will show you an example on why in a moment at the end of creating our scene. So I'm just gonna move this window now over to my second monitor, so it's out of the way. There we go, now we're on the second monitor. What I need to do is I need to add three different scenes for the Discord window. Now, I do that as a window capture, so let's call this Discord, oh, Discord, Discord test one create a new scene uh, window I need to choose stream channel discord there you go and now you can see that I can now resize this window like so resize that and position that now what you can do if you hold down the alt button on your keyboard <laughs> you can change the cropping on the actual window so what I would need to do is I would need to crop myself out <clears throat> if I can grab that corner with the alt key. I would need to crop myself out so there is nothing else in that window. This is still the Discord window, but now there is there is nothing else in that window because I've cropped it out. Now that needs to live underneath, it, or it doesn't have to, but I like to have my webcam windows live underneath my overlay simply because I can start cropping inside the actual windows themselves that I've made for the webcams. Now this, as I say, this can change depending on the types of webcams or cameras that your friends or colleagues have. 
But at the moment, I'm in position one. As you can see, I'm up here in position one, waving. So now I need to come back down and bring in a new window. Window capture. So let's call this Discord test two. And I need to select, at the moment it's selecting Streamlabs, but I need to again select Discord. Uh, click OK on that. Bring the size down a little bit, just so I can see what I'm working with. And now if I hold down the Alt key again, and then crop out the second camera on there. Like so. Place that underneath wherever, as long as it's underneath the uh, background. And then I can position that underneath there as well. Now, of course, there is no one on, on there. Uh, Nick and Joe aren't actually in front of their PCs at the moment, so there's no one actually there. And then again, the same thing. Discord test 3. Select Discord. Click OK make it a size so you can see what you're working with and again crop out the third camera like so place it underneath again change it to whatever size you want to change it to and then as i said again you can um you can make these boxes as big or as small as you like but that's pretty much it. Now, the biggest thing, the biggest note, as, as I say, I mentioned at the beginning, is this box now, the Discord window, is OBS is tracking how big that Discord window is, okay? So if I then start moving around the Discord window, things start to go a little wry. So that's why, that's why I said it's so important that you keep the Discord window at the size that you told it to be inside of um, OBS or Streamlabs or whichever software you're using. So that cannot change. And again, the same kind of thing. If, if a camera gets turned off, a camera goes missing, okay? But then because of the way that the camera boxes are laid out in OBS, you just get this blank, this blank box here. And again, if I turn it on, the cameras come back. So everything gets shuffled around. So... That is pretty much it. The only other thing that you will probably need to do um, to this is stick a game capture on there. Now, I haven't got a game open at the moment. Should we get a game open? Let's get a game open. We're going to do that now. As you can see, I have opened a game of Gang Beasts. So let's just get to the main menu of Gang Beasts. Um, oh, there you go. It's actually opened in a window for some reason. Not sure why. Uh, let's get the game sound turned down because that is very loud at the moment. Uh, let's get that turned down to where I usually have it. Okay, uh, save settings, yes. And I want to make this full screen as well just to show you. Save settings, there you go. So now it's actually full screen, let's submit that. Uh, let's go back and uh, back. And uh, back, and uh, let's start a local game. I can't submit, probably because I've got my Xbox controller plugged in, but my Xbox controller isn't picking up. But that doesn't actually matter. What matters is, is now that we need to pull in the game screen from, uh, let's call this game capture uh, test. And let's pull in capture specific window. Let's capture gang beasts. Give that a couple of seconds to load, and of course it loads super massive because of the resolution of my desktop. But let's pull that and drag that down to a suitable size. And there you go. Keep dragging, keep dragging, keep dragging <laughs> until uh, you get to a suitable size for your window. So again, if you stick that under the image test, you have got something that looks like that. So then all three of you can appear on screen at any one time. You can play your game in the middle. Now, there are ways of being able to capture multiple game windows, but that is a lot more in depth. That means several of you are gonna have to stream your content somewhere, um, either to Twitch, Mixer, or to an unlisted YouTube stream or something like that. And then every time you go into the stream, 
then you're going to have to change and align the windows every single time. Um, but there's a lot more testing to that. But certainly on games, as I say, like Gang Beasts, um, I mean, we played Hell Let Loose the other day uh, on stream. Uh, and it captured one window, but you could see all of us talking. It just makes it a little bit more uh, personable when you're when you're streaming in front of an audience and they can see everyone everyone speaking and i know there are services on mixer and twitch and things like that that now do squad streams and team streams and things like that but it just makes one stream with multiple faces even if you're playing the game of i don't know dungeons and dragons online tabletop simulator style dungeons and dragons you can put everyone's face on there and you can design a really nice overlay but uh that is pretty much how you set up a squad stream so there we go, that was my first ever tutorial on the Technuovo channel. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you learned something. Please leave any feedback down below as well um, and, and let me know if there was anything you'd like to see um, changed in, in tutorials like this or if there's anything that I could have done to improve it. That would be absolutely awesome if you could let me know. I also stream over on Mixer. Um, you can find me Technuovo, there'll be a link in the description down below to this video of my stream where you can find me nick and joe streaming several days a week over there we, we kind of just jump on randomly at the moment but uh but uh, certainly certainly come and come and check it out it's quite a lot of fun we have over there if there's anything as well that you would like to know about streaming i'm not an expert at this point but uh but i could certainly try and help out if you are having a bit of an issue with setting up your stream or trying to do some weird and wonderful things on streaming as well. I'm hoping to bring a few more tutorials as well over over sort of the future of this channel because actually I enjoyed I enjoyed making this. I really did. It's nice and nice and simple, and hopefully it teaches teaches people out there how to stream and how to do certain things on streams as well. So thank you. Thanks for watching. If you've made it this far, that's uh, that's for sure. Thank you very much. So thank you very much for checking out my tutorial on how to squad stream in a single streaming window. If you've enjoyed this video, then do click that like button. Please subscribe to keep up with our latest tech, gaming, and tutorial videos now. I can maybe start saying tutorial videos, depending on if I do anymore. Um, please leave a comment down below. Let us know what you think. And also come and check us out streaming over on Mixer, which is at Technoivo. Again, link in the description down below as well. And also please share with your friends. Please share this video with your friends. So if, if they're streamers and you want to jump on stream with them and you've got a set of webcams, why not share it? Share it around. Get streaming. We're in uh, lockdown at the moment here in the UK. And streaming is actually helping with that and helping, uh, helping us not go too crazy in this time and losing our minds and being bored and all of that kind of things that's uh, going on in the UK. And also, don't go outside. Stay inside. Start streaming. Stay safe as well. And wash your hands. As I say, thanks very much for watching and we will see you in the next video.